So that went well. Defined well. The colony is still standing. Ish. Not a single one of the named NPCs was taken away. Look, they're uh, named because they're smart. Are we counting Fiora? She's a player character, so... God damn it. Fiora. Ah, the breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. Flashing back to stuff that You're literally happened 20 minutes ago. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, I think this maybe. is fine for a serialized <laughs> form of this game. Like a Let's Play. <sighs> it's so okay, fl flashing back to stuff that happened literally sure? two weeks ago. I hope every day can be like this, always. I mean, look, we got a long way to go before we approach Tales of Symphonia 2 territory, so... I'll allow <laughs> I this. Mean, it's two weeks in the time it would take to post the videos, but if you're waiting and you watch it in the playlist, it would be 20 minutes. But if you... Time travel's hard, guys. This is why it's always rhyme time. Have you you never have to worry about rhyme time. That's right. Yeah. Hammer down. That's all you need. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without the Monado, he's the strongest person I know. Uh... Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but... you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago, I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. Do we really want to call Mumkar a friend, though? They were all I thought about. <sighs> but I decided I would not cry. He's actually just Everyone talking about his, his uh, bonnet called Mumkar. Family, <laughs> friends... Loved ones he probably home. did stop considering so Munkar a friend at them. that moment, but and then he won. died. So now we have to respect him. <laughs> no matter how painful, More or less. No matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. <sighs> she wanted to protect She died us. honorably in glorious combat. <laughs> Damn, can't believe Fiora is going to Valhalla. So, I not cry. She put on a better showing than Colonel Vanguard, at least. Remember the gift of love that Fiora gave you. <laughs> Wait, is... is she... C4 from... <laughs> Devil's Third? That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Again, I love how even in their friendship picture, Mumkar is still acting like a complete asshole. It's one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will treasure. That back on. Five seconds ago, treasure the life they that Fiora gave you. Shulk now, I am going to go kill that Mechon. And, destroy it. Destroy them all. and every Mechon in existence. What are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd yeah, of course that, to say it. Yeah, that, yeah, Ryan, that's the exact response so you, you want when your friend says, I'm gonna go genocide the robot race. Just, just incredulous laughter. Fast. You thought I'd try and talk you out of it. <laughs> that's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? I, I mean, yeah. I feel like that's a Something pretty like that. valid answer to that, actually. Time. In my head. Kinda is, yeah. One of them is saying that. I thought you might tell me that Fiora would me, wouldn't want this. I mean, said. like, what about the other one? It keeps shouting. Make yeah, pay. actually, destroy every single one of them, and it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. So is this Fiora before or after Skynet takes over? It's a bit of a loudmouth. Before. There you go, then. <laughs> 
you know, just having a laugh with the boys up in the park, talking about how we're going to genocide the robots. So, and remembering our dead friend. Right now. Perfect. Who also wanted to genocide the robots. She owned that robot so hard in the district. What fun time. Remember when I was being electrocuted and I couldn't move? But then when I feared for her death, I suddenly was able to move again? Yeah. God, Ryan is remember absolutely the kind of guy who would be like, Hey, sure. remember when you jammed that sword in the robot's face? That was pretty sweet! That was so cool, bro. I was gonna say, that conversation might have gone differently if Dunban were a part of it. But, nah, he's on the revenge train too. Just, you know, as soon as he's able to. It's like, second I get feeling back in my hand, oh, they're gonna fucking pay. Ryan's exactly the kind of person who drinks boomer juice. <laughs> Fortress of Solitude is lonely no more. <laughs> this is probably like in the Bionis's like frozen ball sack or something. I'm trying to remember where this is. Might be one of the arms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it's fairly close to when you get the Sword Valley. Like, no. You'd have to pass through here on the way to Sword Valley. Yeah, I think this is either if not like the last area before it, or definitely probably the second to last. So this would be like shoulder, I think. <sighs> yeah. You know, I'm not too excited for the sequel to the thing. <sighs> Yeah, so that's a, that's a real creepy ass look you're giving <laughs> folks there, Dixon. I didn't want to say it, so thank you, Crow. <laughs> Ooh, dead child. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I know what happened. Child touched the sword, murdered everybody so else, well went into a <laughs> coma. <laughs> but shouldn't we have some kind of plan? I will raise this boy and make him my All own. Right, Colony six. <laughs> Colony six. Bark like a dog. Show me left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a Mechon base. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal face Mechon. So, we go past the Magmel ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionis Knee. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Colony 6. All right, so we have our goal, and now we have the ability to craft gems. So why don't we go check that out before we set off? It, it's nice to see at the very least that Gem Man survived the massacre. Although sadly, uh, his gem parents and his gem brother and sister and his gem daughter <laughs> did not, so we're keeping them in our hearts. Or one out for the gem clan. Wouldn't it be the man clan? This is true. <laughs> so, the way gem crafting works is you put in a bunch of crystals into the machine, and you have a shooter and an engineer, and then they do stuff, and then you get gems. 
based on what you put in. Very, very, um, very technical, very technical explanation there, Argate. <laughs> you, you put in the crystals and they do stuff. You do the thing with the thing and then you get some things. Yeah, but this is like a kind of like a star ocean level of explaining its crafting system. It's like, I don't fucking know. Just do it. And that's Look, literally... you, want, you want the good gems, you put them in the goddamn machine. <laughs> what more do you want? I was going to say it. Yeah, I was set to go explain what the shooter and engineer actually do, but then I realized I don't <laughs> know what they actually what? do. Yeah, that that's, that's a pretty accurate summation of how gem crafting works, actually. <laughs> just what when in doubt, quote Todd Howard, it just works. <laughs> More or less. Yeah, but at least in this game, if you can see a location, you can actually go to it. <laughs> game mechanics wise, you can put in crystals that have various qualities that have different attributes that translate to abilities like ether defense up or agility up like I have on screen. The shooter and engineer combo will try to refine the gem qualities as best they can. Gem crafting is also a horrible cacophony of noise. <laughs> and has hilarious fuck up potential, by the way. Oh, absolutely. So if you can get a gem quality up to 100%, you will get a gem of that, uh, that quality at whatever rank you did. So right now we only have rank one crystals. If you can get a gem up to 200% or higher, it'll rank up. So this agility up gem here will, uh, it's 200%. So now I'm getting an agility two gem. And if you have anything left over, you can turn one or two uh, gem qualities into a crystal, which you can use to uh, enhance your gem crafting later. Look, I'm not going to lie, gem man. I, I don't feel very excited about this because I don't understand how the fuck it works. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you can get a gem up to 300%, uh, I believe you get two of that gem. At, but it's you know, now. the Maybe rank plus one. It was programmed to open up in case of. I like to think that someone looked at the gem the machine the and asked themselves what the kind of instrument they should use. Yeah. And they basically only had access to bagpipes, and just honestly tried to do their best. <laughs> All right. So now we can go through this door that we couldn't before. Uh. That lady has a bunch of generic quests that we're just going to skip over. An ether I kind of wonder how Model and Soft actually arrived the at the gem crafting that actually made it yeah. into the game. Like, them to the that's, that's what they shipped. Okay. What do you think it looked like the when they were designing it? Pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep oh, I don't know. When that's your flowchart looks more like a spider web. I like to think it was they just modeled it off a game of Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> <laughs> when they tried to like put it in the game, one of the coders just looked at him and shrugged. <laughs> okay, look, this is all you're getting. It's like the economy like, in Victoria too. Nobody really knows how it works. <laughs> it just <laughs> does. Like I'm imagining like the poor guy who has to like write up that tutorial page and he's just like desperately asking the su the supervisor like okay but like the strong flames weak flames how, how does this it's, i'm picturing just t yeah t tetsuya takahashi just like doing like that scene from like the 21 jump street movie where channing tatum is just like writing the number four on a chalkboard over and over and over again in a fit of just like throwing out terms that literally do not make any sense like the like the flux coefficient like turns into a like radioactive spider, and then he just like throws the marker down on the board, and just like fuck you, game development. Just don't <laughs> worry about it. That said, one of the best uh, shooter engineer combos you can get is Shulk and Ryan, like I was using earlier. So yeah, you could probably make good gems all you want without much trouble. Uh, anyway, here's our introduction to uh, aggro on. Sound enemies? 
Yeah, these are sound enemies. You can tell because I got a little sound wave next to the name. Yeah, I'm, I was just trying to figure out like how I wanted to phrase that because I don't know if there's an auditory equivalent to uh, aggro on sight. Yeah, it's uh, basically what happens is if you are moving faster than a certain... Like, if you are moving faster than a certain speed, they will hear you, quote-unquote, and then that'll trigger their aggro. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's all it, it's just limited to uh, running by them, because that, that Arachno did not hear us at all, despite us being the shit out of its buddy. So, um, I have to ask, because I'm sure we're going to have a lot of videos in, in this series. Is there a specific reason why you would not want to open a chest? Not really. Man, really sucks that they don't make that automatic. Mm. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, like, it's super easy to have a gigantic cluttered inventory. And, you know, if you just happen to kill some trash mobs that you don't really give a shit about, like, mm. other than that, no. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, their injuries. They weren't made by no Mechon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. Well, well I guess we'll just leave them here. Oh, no reason. Ryan. Shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. Don't worry, Jabba, they thought of it. They're gonna clean up, clean up the bodies. Hey, you know, burying somebody, <sighs> toss them into the local acid pit, it's sort of the same thing. Dude, Ra's al Ghul is gonna be so pissed when he sees bodies in his fucking pool. We need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Also, are we gonna talk about Ryan's flashy new pants? I don't think I want to talk about Ryan's flashing pants, no.